So, believe it or not, my propane powered flamethrower that's coming out the front of my fart can is securely mounted. Now I'll show you how I did it. Got an old propane bottle and chopped her all up with the handy cutting wheel grinder and use the bottom edge as a clamper collar. It's all welded and braced and it's got a wing nut and bolt to tighten it down. And believe me, I don't even have it tightened down yet and it's gripping it super tight. So there you can see better. I guess if there was no propane bottle in there, a little bit of dust might come in the car if the seat was folded down, but we can flip it up. And I saved a little bit of the curve from the bottom and that perfectly fits that curve so it stops it from falling through too far. Perfect. Great for high speed off-roading now in Sky Hill. Notice how high that thing sits now in the front end? One more final mod I did to it to save the aluminum oil pan from destruction, hitting all the rocks on my farm, was I got a pair of rear VW struts, cut them in half, took the springs out, took a little piece out of the spring, and double spring my front struts. Same way I did the redneck roller coaster. So if you ever want to modify an off-road vehicle, doesn't matter whether it's rear drive, front drive, struts, just single coil springs in the front end like the old Chevy Ack. All you got to do is get some front or rear springs from another car that are a different diameter, take the struts apart, put them inside, trim them to length, and reassemble them. The car drives exactly the same, except it's a little stiffer, but that's definitely going to save that oil pan. Gotta love it when it's sweet and simple and redneck. Look out, Fast and Furious! I got a real redneck ricer now. Ha, huh, let me show you. A totally functional air scoop. Yep. Even with the little LED light bar. When you're driving this thing high speed, blowing smoke, blowing flames, it's a little ass end light, so you start floating on the gravel. You don't want to slide out around that curve and hit that power box, you know. So that gives me some downforce. And I made it out of some old exercise machine metal parts that I garbage picked. And a piece of wood. Turn the headlight switch on. Yep, and a total tacky <laughs> Guido light bar. Sweet. And the propane flamethrower is all done as I showed you. Now I just got to finish hooking up the gas one and my car will be completely ready to race like James Bond. Push the button. Okay. Sweet. Push the button again. Oh, I gotta love this car. Look at that smoke show going across the field. <laughs> hey, don't tell Al Gore. Cool. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of those mosquitoes for tonight. You just drive this thing around the farm, get rid of all the mosquitoes. And... It already smells like oil. I mean. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> 